Today, I have uh, very strong feelings. I can tell you that. Today, I feel uh, Qatari. Today, I feel Arab. Today, I feel African. Today, I feel uh, gay. Today, I feel disabled. Today, I feel uh, a migrant worker. I'm European. Actually, I am European. Not just I feel European. I think for what we Europeans have been doing in the last 3,000 years around the world, we should be apologizing for the next 3,000 years before starting to give moral lessons to people. And the situation of uh, hundreds of thousands of women and men from developing countries who would like to offer their services abroad in order to help and give a future to their families back home. Well, Qatar is actually offering them this opportunity. Hundreds of thousands of workers from development countries come here. They earn 10 times more than what they earn in uh, their home country. And they help their families to survive. And they do it in a legal way. We in Europe, we close our borders, and we don't allow practically any worker from these countries who, earn, who have obviously very low income to work legally in our countries, because we all know there are many illegal workers in our European countries. Let me first assure you that every decision that is taken in this World Cup is a joint decision between Qatar and FIFA. Every decision is discussed, debated, and taken jointly. There will be, I don't know how many fan zones, eight, 10 big fan zones, over 200 places where you can buy alcohol in Qatar anyway. Uh, over 10 fan zones where over 100,000 people can simultaneously drink alcohol. 100,000 people at any particular moment. I think personally, if for three hours a day you cannot drink a beer, you will survive, especially because actually the same rules apply in France or in Spain or in Portugal or in Scotland, where no beer is allowed in stadiums. Now, here it seems to become a big thing because it's a Muslim country, or I don't know why, I don't know why. We tried, and that's why, that's the one I give you, of course, the late change of uh, policy because we tried until the end to see whether it was possible. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.